Good morning. It is the 30th of July, and I'm here with Lyle and Tim, who have given me a ride up to the trailhead. So thanks to them. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning. We had to stop a couple times to uh, take photos of the of the stunning rock formations as we drove up. But thank you, too, for uh, getting me back to the trail. Amen. Amen. Good luck. So Lyle and Tim have, uh, have taken off. Niner and Kicks are their trail names. And uh, they're having sort of a reunion with Hike Nation, which is how they met 40 years ago uh, with some other young people that were hiking all the way across the country uh, in what became the American Discovery Trail. They're getting together with a few more alumni and going to try to do Mount Whitney themselves. Hope to see them in a few days. Uh, might work out that way. They're dropping off a box for me at Kearsarge Pass, which is just phenomenal. They're going to put it in, uh, in the bear boxes there and uh, having a little problem focusing, sorry. And because uh, uh, that's, <laughs> otherwise I'd be carrying like seven or eight days worth of food right now and it's 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 tolerable right now with three days worth of food in this bear canister but uh, carrying that extra food would just be sort of crushing but i'm out here it's quiet there's a lot of cars in the parking lot but no no people here and uh, the air is so crisp the air is so clean uh so clear I, I don't know how to describe it other than that it's it's clear and clean and i hope you get a sense of that just even uh taking a look at the background here but that's certainly the, the feeling that i have it's a lot cooler than it was down in lone pine which was uh like 100 degrees uh in the afternoon so yeah a lot cooler up here Okay, first snowfield. Actually, the way through, I can step through without ever touching the snow, I think. But I know there's snow in the future. It's probably melting fast, but uh, probably some up on Forester Pass at least. Uh, met a very nice uh, park ranger. I said, I didn't realize I was still, or I had crossed over into the national park lands. She said, no, no, I'm, I'm out of bounds. I go, okay. She was telling me about the trees. I thought I was looking at sequoia trees uh, in the past few days. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Just come over this little saddle here and... There's this meadow down here. I'll, I'll put in a, a little still. And a, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, anyway, she was telling me, yeah, you probably haven't seen a sequoia and probably won't see a sequoia because they're down like four or 5,000 feet uh, elevation. You're gonna be up higher than that. And even though you've been walking through Sequoia National Forest and we'll be entering Sequoia National Park, you won't see a sequoia tree. Oh well, I am really interested in the different varieties of the evergreen trees here in, in California. Some are long needles, some are short needles, some are sort of bundled needles. Some have straight trunks, some have these wild twisty trunks. Uh, yeah, anyway. I'm still in awe of the Sierras. <laughs> Just the, this meadow that I'm looking out on, and it it 
it uh, empties out onto these uh, series of peaks further in the distance. It's not going to show up well on camera, but all just jagged peaks. I mean, it looks like something out of a out of a fantasy novel, you know? Yeah. And uh, here I am. I'm, I mean, I feel like I'm all alone out here. And I have seen more people today. I have seen more people. Uh, went by a small troop of Boy Scouts, and uh, they had gone up Mount Whitney and were coming back and having a great time. It was uh, a group of three from San Diego. Uh, there were a couple people at Rock Creek that were already camped, you know, like, I don't know, three or four o'clock in the afternoon, you know, for camp, they're setting up the camp. Uh, but, uh, I, I really get the sense here on the side of this mountain that I'm, I'm all alone. It's my mountain. And, uh, such a sense of freedom. Uh, wow. Yeah. Really cool. So just came around a corner. Haven't even gotten to the junction yet of where I'm going to go to the campground tonight down the lowlands. Whitney's up there somewhere. Um, I don't think we're looking at Whitney, but you never know. That whole area around Whitney is full of spires like that. Even if it's not Whitney, it's pretty awesome. Hey, little marmot. How you doing? You scared or not scared? Somebody's sounding the alert. Over there. I'm not going to hurt you, though. I'm at uh, Crabtree Meadow. It's the farthest east uh, I can camp uh, on my permit. Several other tents in the area. A few other down here. It's a beautiful, beautiful meadow. Here's everyone else. It's only, I probably got here a few minutes after seven. And uh, I've only seen like one or two people out. I think everyone's crashing early. And I think some people have the idea that, you know, they get up at midnight or 2 a.m. or something like that. And, you know, go up and see the sunrise. But uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, it's, uh, be almost a new moon. It's going to be dark. Uh, hiking seven and a half miles up by headlamp. I don't know. Eh, I don't think so. I'll, I'll get up early, but that's it. But uh, yeah, successful day. Beautiful day. Gorgeous day. And uh, here I am. It wasn't, wasn't terribly hard getting here. 20, 20 miles, 22, maybe something like that. Pretty easy.